In this video, we will going to talk about what is Prometheus. So let's start with the agenda of this video. First, we will talk about what is Prometheus. After that, we will talk about what is time series data. Further, we will talk about Prometheus versus some other tools. Next, we will learn when to use Prometheus and Prometheus architecture at the end. So let's begin with our first topic that is what is Prometheus. Prometheus stands as a prominent open source solution within the realm of monitoring and alerting system. It is written in Go language and licensed under Apache 2. It is a metric based monitoring system developed by SoundCloud in 2012. I will explain in detail what is time matrix monitoring system. Don't worry. Prometheus offer a multi-dimensional data model, operation simplicity, scale level, data collection, time series database, and powerful query language, all in a single tool. In 2016, the Prometheus project became a part of Cloud Native Computing Foundation, CNCB. There is a certification of Prometheus. The name of its certification is PCA. Prometheus Certified Associate. One can observe multiple choice question in this exam. Not like Kubernetes, you have to finish the lab. Not like that. Okay, so there will be a multi choice question only. Prometheus has continued to evolve with its latest stable release being version 2.53.0 as of June 2024. It is widely used in the industry for monitoring and alerting, and it has very active developers and user community. Now we understand the basic of Prometheus, but before we deep dive into this, let's understand what is time series data. It is coming very often, right? So let's proceed with this. In this slide, I will try to explain you what is time series matrix. Let's understand with the help of one example. You have one web application that serves thousands of users daily. To ensure it runs smoothly, you set up matrix based monitoring tool called Prometheus. So let's understand. We have one Prometheus server, one client server, right? Prometheus server pull the matrix at 10 a.m. from the client server it save the value against its check whatever the value it comes so it just save it here okay please bear in mind that prometheus is mainly used for pull based metric tool what is pull based prometheus will send the request to the client and pull the data so that is called pull base further when we talk about time or cpu take an example that this Prometheus server sends the request to the client server at 10 a.m. and check for CPU users. At that time, it was 10.5 percentage total CPU percentage it used, right? Further, at 10:15 second, so 10 a.m. at 15 second, it was 20 percent CPU utilization. Like this same way, 10:45. It means that Prometheus pulled the matrix every 15 second like this way this way this way but if one will ask the question what was the cpu uses at 10 on 13th second there is no data this is the reason sometime it is not fulfilled all our desire right same as it for memory uses so at this time at 10 0, 0, we had memory uses 6 gb was used 10 15 it was 8 gb used but what happened at 10 a.m. 13 second? We don't have any data. So now you can think about that. This is a matrix. Matrix means it sent the query to the server and pull the data at that time. That's it. It's up to us when we want to configure. So sometimes people send the request to every 30 seconds. Sometimes people configure the parameters to pull the query from every 15 seconds it's all up to you but what happened between that 15 seconds we don't have any data 
in this way it is a lightweight and it is very useful to get the matrix okay we do we don't care we can take the graph okay we can think about it okay it should be between 6 to 8 gb right within 15 second i don't care so for that reason we can use prometheus and i believe that now it is clear that what is matrix space and what is time series so time series means every time it send the request pull the data that is called time series data that we have now i believe that you can understand from this slide what is time series and matrix is it pull the data that matrix is called time series data if it's for memory then it is for memory matrix if it's for cpu then it is for cpu matrix let's go to the next one let me switch off my video here let's talk about the difference between two different monitoring tools so that we will get the idea when we can use prometheus and when we should not use prometheus in prometheus it's a matrix based monitoring system the other tool is loki second tool i'm going to compare here is syslog loki is a log aggregation tool it means that whenever we are running linux type operating system we have lot of logs generated right and we want to capture all these logs in that scenario prometheus is not useful for that you can use loki and syslog is a logging protocol you can enable logging i will explain you in my next here where to use for prometheus you can use prometheus where you want to monitor cpu ram or hard disk or error messages in that scenario you should use prometheus server and for Loki, monitoring the log of files, that is web server, database, and trace the logs. It's simple that if you want to monitor the logs of any application, then you should use Loki. And if you want to monitor the resource utilization, then you should use Prometheus here. In syslog, it forward the system logs with the help of syslog protocol. We can forward all the logs to the syslog server use case monitoring system performance application metrics and infrastructure health from the above explanation we get to know that we can use prometheus where we want to monitor the system performance application metrics it means that application metrics means we have one application running and we have configured our metrics that okay at 10 am we have http written code total number of http written code for 4 uh, 500 or 402 or 300 or 200 how many number of http written code we have we can calculate here and loki we can use centralized logging troubleshooting and log analysis for syslog collecting logs from network devices servers and application for monitoring and troubleshooting for syslog many of you know that you know switches or some routers we configured the syslog ip address right it means that it forward the logs of switches and router to the syslog server with the use of syslog protocol key feature of prometheus is use a powerful query language called promq promq means Prometheus query support for Loki. It support log QL for curing logs. QL stands for curing log. Use a simple text-based format for log messages. That's a difference between Prometheus and other tools. I hope from this slide you will get to know that where we should use Prometheus and where we should use Loki and where we should use syslog server let's move forward in this slide i will going to explain you the architecture of prometheus server it is very important so please watch this section twice please bear in mind that in my first slide when i talked about time series metrics i mentioned that prometheus is mainly a pull based matrix tool right in prometheus we have three core component first is retrieval 
This is responsible to pull the metrics such as RAM, CPUs, disk utilization, and many more from the client machine. This is my retrieval. By default, in client machine, we don't have these metrics, but the actual value like current CPU utilization of RAM, CPU, and or hard disk. Thus, it means that we need some packages that collect the data and convert into the matrix form, right? For that reason, Prometheus offer us one binary package called node exporter. This is my node exporter here, okay? This node exporter, we need to install on each client machine. After that, we need to instruct our Prometheus configuration file that to pull the matrix from the configured node exporter machine. In this configuration file, we need to configure it to pull the matrix every 15 second or 30 second. It's all up to us, right? How we can configure it. Prometheus will pull all the matrix from node exporter. This process is called scrap. Once we have matrix received by the retrieval, it store in the time series database. This is called time series database. Why we use time series database? Because we have time series metrics, simple. This database is generally on its node hard disk store or some storage server. So this hard disk you, you are observing here, it should be on the server side. Further, Prometheus also have a nice portal where one can see the graph. This portal get the desired metrics from the time series database. That's it. We will open this website and see all the metrics. We don't need to execute the command. What is a CPU utilization, blah, blah, blah. And here in this GUI, GUI means graphical user interface portal. We can see the graph we will cover in next chapter. Don't worry. Now there is a question in some scenario. Full base matrix is not suitable for an example, short lived job. To explain more, let's assume that we have configured our Prometheus server that will scrap. Scrap means pull the data from the client machine every 30 second. But there are some jobs which run on every five second and produce some output. Another example would be, a job that run a backup or a script that perform a quick health check. At the end, we want to monitor these value, right? So every five seconds, what was the output for that script? It is not possible from the pull base metrics. For that reason, Prometheus built another library called push gateway. Technically, job push their metrics to the push gateway using HTTP request the push gateway store these metrics temporary after that Prometheus scrap the push gateway at regular interval to collect to collect the metrics certainly there are some limitation the push gateway does not automatically delete old metrics so you need to manage stale metrics manually another limitation as it can become a single point of failure if it's not managed properly. This is the reason it is not recommended to use. If there is no option, then we can use push gateway. I hope it is okay for you. Prometheus offer several services discovery mechanism to automatically discover and monitor targets. In Kubernetes, Prometheus can discover service running in a Kubernetes cluster by querying the Kubernetes API. There is another one file based service discovery. You can list target in a JSON or YAML file and Prometheus will read this file to discover the target. The other one would be HTTP service discovery. Prometheus can discover target over the HTTP endpoint. This method is useful for dynamic environment where targets change frequently. Each method has its own configuration requirement and use cases. For an example, file-based service discovery is simple and static 
while HTTP service discovery is more dynamic and can handle frequent changes in target. Now we have enabled the monitoring by using Prometheus. From here, we can pull the metrics and here the push gateway, we get all the data and the pull metrics will pull the metrics from the gateway. And if we have Kubernetes cluster here with the help of discovery target, we gather all the data from the Kubernetes and these are the file and these are the HTTP server. We can get it from there also. Now we have enabled the monitoring by using Prometheus. However, we don't want to monitor the metrics only, right? It is totally unfair that we gather these metrics and then do nothing with that. We gather them so we can both make data driven decision and also we can alert ourselves to when things go wrong with the metrics data. We create a rule on alert manager and Prometheus can push the notification to the alert manager. Further, alert manager will notify to pager duty, email, or third party tool here. From there, we have created the rules on the alert manager. It push all the alert to here and then it forward it to pager duty. I will explain you in deep when we cover the alert manager topic. As of now, we are just think about it, how this Prometheus is working. We just want to understand that set. How it is done, where it will done, we will cover in our topic by topic. Don't worry, okay? As I mentioned in the beginning of the slide, that we can access the Prometheus database from the Prometheus GUI, which is running on HTTP server. This HTTP server fetch the data from the prompt QL from QL stand for Prometheus query language. This is my website here. It sent the request. The query name is from QL to the time series database and show you the graphs. Same principle is being used for Grafana. Grafana is an open source observability platform for visualizing metrics, logs, and trace collected from, the, from your application. It is a cloud native solution for quickly assembling data dashboard that let you inspect and analyze your stack. We can also fetch the data from the client API server. Now, from this architecture, we get to know that if we want to pull the metrics, we can use node exporter. If you want to pull the metrics from the short lived use, we can use push gateway here. If we want to get the data from the Kubernetes, we are here, file, HTTP, and we gather all these information, create some rules. In the alert manager, we create some rules. If those rules match, it push the alert to the alert manager, and alert manager will forward the request to email, or pager duty, or webhook, whatever the third party tool you have configured here. And further, we can access this time series database with the help of prompt QL on the web GUI. Same thing, Grafana will use prompt QL and API client. You can create your own API server that will use also prompt QL. In the lab, we will also execute some prompt QL query. Don't worry. So let's start with very basic one where we are going to configure. And we don't have these, you know, too many servers, you know, where we can install the node exporter, where we can install the push gateway, when we get the data from the Kubernetes file and then HTTP, everything. Let me explain you. In simple step, I have one Kubernetes cluster where I have one master node and two worker node. On master node, I'm going to install the Prometheus packages first. And also install the node exporter here. Node exporter, I'm going to install on my master one node. On worker node one, I will also install the node exporter so that I can show you that how you can configure different IP address if you have more than one or two servers. Obviously, in the production environment, you will have more than 
one servers that you want to monitor. So how you can add multiple IP address for that reason, I'm going to add here worker node one also. Then alert manager one and Prometheus server two. Why I'm going to install Prometheus two server, I will show you in my next videos. On worker node two, we will going to install the push gateway, alert manager two for HA, Prometheus Federation, I will going to install on worker node two here. And in the end, in Nginx, I'm going to install the service discovery for HTTP. Okay, so now we I have only four VMs and there I will install all the packages one by one. Once we completed everything, then we will going to delete every, all these application and then install on my Kubernetes cluster with the help of Helm chart. That will install automatically all these subs very easy. I will show you. Don't worry. So in this way, we get to know that you know if we want to configure Prometheus, we will get to know here how we can install the node exporter, alert manager, how we can create the rules. Everything we will learn on here, and after that we will install on Kubernetes. I hope you like this lecture. If you like this lecture, please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues and also press the bell icon so that you will see the new videos from my side and all these videos will be free totally free i'm not going to ask a single penny from you but yes if you want to support me you can donate at the end of this video thank you bye